guys are struggling with not getting resubmissions for your assessments and one of my big things that I've noticed for me that I use is my diary. I've got a yearly diary where I will input all my assessments that I've got due, when I want to get uh, specific sections of them complete and also making sure I email my teachers, letting them know how I'm going, letting them know any questions I have and asking if I can go and see them during study periods and break times in order to make sure I am understanding it completely. Um, their sites are also a great idea to just keep checking them, go through, see exactly what they've got and read through it all. Because even if you may think, oh, it's not a big deal, it's just a site, it's not going to give me all the information I need, there may be some important stuff you find that you didn't even realise was there. I feel like a lot of our assessments from different subjects are due at the same time. I think most of us can relate to this one because this is when it feels overwhelming the most because you don't know where to start or even how to start with it. If you feel overwhelmed, talk about it to someone. Your teachers, your dean, your family, or friends. Just to settle your mind down and not get too crazy. It also helps if I write down all of my assessments and when they are due and give myself some checkpoints or little steps towards completing them. Sometimes I also give myself fake due dates earlier before the real due date. So personally, I highly recommend having a digital or physical yeah. life. So as someone who's been doing NCAA for the last three years, um, I think my biggest struggle was I'm putting too much pressure on myself. Um, this resulted for me not being able to relax sometimes, but I always try to remind myself that NCA might be the most important thing right now. It's not the biggest thing in your life because there's so much more in life than just NCA, you know? So making sure that your mental health is looked after, making sure that you're happy. And I do this by reaching out to my parents, talking to them when I'm feeling stressed, and playing games with my friends and yeah. Tiring is stressful. Um, I do admit NCA does get tiring and it does stress you out a lot considering that um, the credits that you gain is what you need to pass the year. Um, I guess the only, my only advice is to give yourself some time to um, not do work and just give yourself like space from doing work and just do what you um, enjoy such as like cooking or if you're going out like exercise or something like that I guess just giving yourself that time without having to work focus on work constantly um, will help you relieve that stress and it does um, lift a little bit of weight off your shoulders from time to time um, it does help me to just stay away from work for a bit just to focus on myself as it does get like it does affect your well-being overall mentally emotionally and physically so just giving yourself your yourself that time is the perfect way to um to help with your struggles and through working through nca ask your teachers any and every question you have about the lesson i understand that this is quite hard for some students to do but there is nothing wrong or there is nothing to be ashamed of in having those questions or not understanding the topic. For me, I ask my teachers a lot of questions just to make sure that I fully understand the topic, especially when I know that I am aiming for higher grades. The teachers know the topic more than me, so they should be able to help me. Asking those questions also means that you are actively learning. I think for me, it's better to just ask my teachers rather than seeing myself struggle for like the whole lesson. But that doesn't mean that we should stop trying. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm Lara and I'm here with an NCA tip. Tip, turning up to every class. Personally, I think turning up to every class helps me to have an idea of how my courses are going to work for the year. This not only helps on having how to learn for the assessments, it also helps in increasing team orientation experience. This also encourages us to work towards active learning, meaning learning out of our comfort zones. 
Hey guys, Alan here from the Prefix. I will be talking about the effect of joining groups within our school has on your NCA, whether it's academic, sporting, or cultural. A good thing that you get from joining these groups would be the improvement in your social skills as you'd be handling and talking to different types of people that you may never have talked to. And a tip that I'd recommend is to prioritize your NCA over those groups. Like your education is very important, especially if you wanna to get to university and all those future goals. But yeah, if you guys ever need any help, just reach out to us prefix because we can help you. Thank you. When it comes to revision, there are many online resources and websites available to us like Study Time. Study time can be helpful because it tells you questions that you need to look out for during the exam and how you would answer them. It also gives you key ideas on the topics you are studying. There are also other websites like No Brain Too Small and also YouTube if you're more of a visual learner. A way I would prepare for my externals is by going into NGQA and finding past papers that have been completed by other students around New Zealand. I can then look at results of what an achieved merit and excellence can look like. I can also attempt the question by writing the same question into a doc and answering it with my own answer. I can then compare it to what the result looks like from an achieved merit or excellence by looking at what my answer looks like and what their answer looks like. I think this is a good way to practice before an external to get the hang around what you may need to do to get an excellence or a merit or an achieve. I think I use this method every time I have an external, whether that's for geography or history or any other subject, I think it's a good way to prepare for your external. Do you have any tips you can give your fellow senior students? Yes, use NCA exemplars and marking schedules. You can do different papers from previous years and then you can mark yourself by using the marking schedules. And that way you can reflect on the mistake that you have made and you can also write down notes on what you still need to work on. Not only that, but it will also give you an idea of what type of questions or answers you'll be given or required in the exams, especially if it's your first time doing NCA exam. Start early on assessments and do a little bit each day before you have to rush it. For this response, I relate to it because I procrastinate a lot. I tend to rush at the last minute to finish it and it just causes a lot of stress for me. <laughs> so my tip is to plan your assessments, what day you're going to do each section by so you can get it done before your deadline you don't have to worry about it. Especially when we do most of the assessment deadlines at the end of each term. Like you don't want to put that stress on you in the last week to finish four assessments make things easier for you. One of the big positives of the NCA system is that you meet people you otherwise wouldn't have met or talked to in the first place. You take a selection of subjects that you enjoy and that you want to do, and you meet people with like-minded interests and hobbies. One of the good things about NCA is also that it's not something that only Christchurch high school students take, but high school students around New Zealand. And so it is something that we can all relate with, whether that be by sharing ideas, collaboration, or even just talking about how hard an exam was for the year. I think Master Dev about NCA, and someone said that it brings a sense of achievement and it cultivates self-discipline. Yes, that is very true for NCA in every subject. We have assessments. For every assessment, we have deadlines. Sometimes we just don't feel like doing the work, right? I know, I can relate. So here is my tip for you. Don't stress, don't overthink, just do the work. Count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then do the work. You can also use Pomodoro technique, but you can search it up online to know more. Then we get to hand in our assessment to our teacher and it gets marked and we get the credits that we deserve. For those hardworking students out there to pass the level and to those students who get endorsements, kudos to you. That is like the payment for your hard work. 